Good morning everybody, it's Nate from The Kramer Life and today is the 11th of May which is unbelievable, time goes by so fast. So for those of you who have your own farm, your own homestead, your own garden, you raise your own food, whether it's you know vegetables or, or meat, you all experience this where there's too much to do and not enough time and then you have to kind of decide what you're going to work on. And some of you are probably good at planning things and you, you know what you're going to do kind of day by day. I'm not one of those. Sometimes I just go by the seat of my pants. Sometimes I do have a plan, but that's not the case today. Um, today is one of those where I look around and there's just so much to do. And I just, just decided that I just need to pick something and just do it. So behind me is the very first paddock that the pigs were in when we got the pigs at the beginning of this month and they've been out of this paddock for a few weeks and Katie and I have been wanting to clean it up a little bit more remove some of the smaller trees and the and the bushes and the brush and it's starting to grow back again and starting to get some of the green leaves and some of the ivies growing back and, and whatever so I want to try to get to it and uh, chop it down, mow it down, clean it up a little bit, and then hopefully be able to plant some grass seed in here in hopes that we can get a little bit of grass growing in here and have that overtake and hopefully make it not so weedy. Um, anyway, that's what I decided I'm going to work on today. Again, there's so many things to work on and it may not be the most important thing to work on, but I'm looking at it and I'm just like, let's just work on this. So I'm going to uh, get working on it. I'll probably just put you on time lapse so I can just focus and just get it done. It's a hot, humid day today and this is in shade for the most part so I can stay cool. So anyway, let's get to work. Messy, messy work. I'm getting a uh, itch in my throat, so I need to go take some allergy pills and get some water. This is not a good angle for me, but whatever. I kind of gave up on clearing the pig's first paddock when I was clearing some of the stuff. I got a bunch of poison ivy on me and went in, take a shower, scrub it all off and wash really good. Make sure that I didn't get any or keep any on me. And I didn't really want to go back and continue that work. So I ended up just jumping on the lawnmower and mowing the field, one of the fields, which always feels good. And when there's, I don't know, I feel like when I'm unsure what to do, mow the lawn. So this morning, I shrunk the red wattles paddock uh, by quite a bit. The other day, I moved them to a new area with lots of green. Uh, they got a really big area. And I think part of the, I think one of the issues with having too big of an area is they don't focus enough of their energy to clear well enough. So I decided to shrink their new paddock down by, gosh, it's gonna rain, what? Raining, what? Okay, well, shrink it down by 20% so that way they focus on this area and clear it out and then I'll move them 
into another 20% area. Well, I guess the rain's coming in, so I'm gonna feed them really quick, feed the other pigs. I have the chicks outside, so I better bring them in first. All right, anyway, this morning I also shrank the mangalistas paddock. Uh, a few days ago, I also expanded their area and I let them have access to their old paddock and I kept their, hi guys, you hungry? I kept their pig shelter in that area and they kept going back to that area and not spending a lot of time in their new area despite the fact that there is a bunch of green. So uh, this morning when I fed them, I barricaded them, barricaded them off with this wire here from their old paddock area, which is over here. And now they're stuck in their new paddock area, which is over here. So same thing, I'm gonna sprinkle this where I want them to focus their energy. And that's about that. Uh, where do we wanna go? You guys are actually doing a pretty good job on this. You guys are doing a really good job on this one now. I'm really proud of you. I know, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Where are we gonna take you? Maybe we're gonna take you back over there. Okay, let's take you back over there. Let's see if we can get that. Over there. All right, come on, big pig pigs. Don't cross the line. Get hot. Don't cross, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, come on. Come on, there you go. Good. Here, chick, 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 um, she pretty much stays away from the rest of the flock and I don't know if that's because she's been kicked out of the flock because she was broody and in the nesting box for the 21 days plus or if she's staying clear of the other hens and the, the rooster lucky just to protect the chicks but she kind of hangs off on her own so every once in a while you'll see them kind of in the same area but for the most part she just hangs hangs out by herself with the chicks. She's a really good mother. She protects them really well. She shows them how to forage and eat and chase bugs and drink from, you know, drink from the water and the, from the watering dish. So she's a good, she's a good mother to these three chicks. Uh, when I feed them, I make sure to give a chick starter feed to the chicks. Um, I don't know how much of it they get because the hens also like that stuff, but I think for the most part, they're doing well, they're growing quick, and they're still alive. So, hi Zona. So this is Zona. She is the speckled Sussex. She's the friendliest of them all, and she's my favorite. She's got quite the attitude. <laughs> so does Lucky. <laughs> so yeah, I hope that we got some of her chicks in the mix. Not sure yet, but... <laughs> Lucky is not liking the fact that I have this chick out, this chicken out here. Okay, Zona, you ready to go back? Good morning, everybody. Now that I've finished all my morning chores, I'm gonna try to continue working on the first pig paddock, clearing that area up. But as you see behind me, maybe you can see, down the driveway here on the side of the driveway are piles of limbs and well yeah limbs that can be burned so i'm going to take the trailer and pile these up and move them to the burn area i just took apart the pig pen that the pig stayed in for the first week or so i lined the trailer with the uh, plywood the particle board 
and I'm gonna stack these piles of limbs in the trailer, bring it down to the burn area. Now that I have the driveway mostly cleared of the uh, branches, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the pig's first paddock area and see how much work they can get done. Is exhausting work. Whew. All right, now I have to go unload the trailer. Go empty that into a an old brush pile back along the trail to the to the creek because I don't want this stuff in my burn barrel. I mean, because I don't want this stuff in my burn pile. So I'm done working outside for the day. I showered because clearing all that brush, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, Virginia creeping vine, creeper vine, and poison ivy. So when showered really good and put on new clothes, washed the clothes that I was wearing. So I'm gonna now stay indoors and see if I can get into the attic and I want to do that because I'm about to start working on the crawl space but I want to check out to see what the attic is like before I start any major work down in the crawl space and this is by recommendation of one of you one of the viewers stating that I should probably look at the attic just to make sure there's nothing major up there before I go and spend money and time uh, on this house so I'm gonna climb up there. The access door is, is uh, I don't know, it's, it's really on there good. It, it doesn't just come open. I think it's either glued shut or nailed shut or something. So I'm gonna figure out a way to get that thing, to get that open. So I brought some tools with me. I'm gonna bring them up there and start working on the access door. It's toasty up here. All right, so let's see here. Um, I want to try to minimize how much damage I do up here because I don't want to repair things unnecessarily. I'm gonna go get a dust mask. Ah. 
There we go. Okay. Got it. I got it open, and you're going to have to wait until next episode to see how it looks in there. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.